I hate this game. We're going to be playing a lunatic because I'm certainly not hard yet. Not yet. We're getting there. Okay, but I do like how the music is actually like uh, completely different from the Toho shit. You know, my grievances with Azun's music, you know, it all kind of ends up sounding the same after a while. But you know, it's actually nice to get some like electronica in there and whatnot. You know, I'm being nice right now because I don't actually hate the game yet. You know, uh, the, the funny things are to come. If you've played this, you already know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's not very suspenseful. You get the idea. See, this is what I'm talking about. Good stuff. Do you look at these bullet patterns, you know? Oh yeah, and you probably didn't notice, but you are right. I did cut my hair. Bye-bye. No more hair. No more hair. No hair. Okay, so we are... Okay, so uh, I didn't think I'd have to actually, like, not talk and focus up on the, what, very first attack. It's not even the spell card, by the way. But, you know, the the bullet pattern, it's, uh, it's very fair. You know, you can see everything that's coming very easily. I sure love that. Holy shit. Okay, I do gotta admire how colorful they made this one. Like, just look at this. It's actually beautiful. And that's what I like in, uh, bullet patterns a lot. I'm gonna keep, like, uh, I, when they can make them fun, but also pretty, then I, that's, like, all I'm asking for, really. I don't really care if they're, like, too hard or whatnot. Like, of course, I don't want them to be, like, a modicum of difficulty. I mean, maybe not too much. Looking at me, I just suck ass, apparently. It's like straight out of DDR, that's good stuff. Like me when I go to the arcade to play DDR, but I'm so out of shape that I can do like one and a half songs at a 10 star difficulty and then I gotta like sit down. <laughs> we may have bombed the, no, gotta keep the win con in mind, holy shit. See, gaming, I, I, I'm not complete. Looking good, looking good, looking better. Wowzers, wowzers, oh yep, yep, so true, bestie. Okay, you know what? I'm not complaining about the increased uh, death bomb time. God knows I could use that. And I just did. Shut up. See, it's creative stuff like that, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, and it's still readable, even though the point is to, like, unread. Because you get what I'm saying. Jeez, Chad, why do you keep on bringing up readability so much? I completely screwed this up. Uh, out the gate, by the way. I, I should not be alive. I've said nothing in this stage yet. Okay. I'm waiting for the stage to- Who are you? Oh, you're that whore from Wish of Breeze. That's not English. Like, you could say a wish for a breeze, but wish- Ew, I, They should do that more often, honestly. Okay, so any song that does the- You hear that? It's the- uh, It's the- It's that part. It's, oh, it's right here. It's the only one. I don't know what that's called. That's good. It's like, it's like this xylophone thing that I used to do in music class in like fifth grade. It goes like, Incoming! Hey, don't you think that was a little too quick? Of course! There's a very rules but like, you gotta be born ready! They haven't changed a bit. I'll freeze you in the big ice cube like a frosty frog! We well, can try. Dialogue's just as terrible as in six, you know, we gotta keep something uh, no miss cycle homing missile. How many times have Chernos th has Chernos themed been remixed? And how is it a banger each time? I'm a bit of a dick writer for Cherno, but aren't we all? Aren't we all? And you know, I gotta admire the particle effects of these icicles. Like that's a the, everyone's favorite color is cyan, right? Because like, of course it is. Which is like the basic bitch thing to say, but it is a really good color. Mine's firstly green. Uh, comment your favorite color in the comment section down below the YouTube video. Shit. Ooh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, it's a good thing that they put the caution there for readability so that you know when enemies are coming from off the screen. You know, like uh, the game makes it very safe and it's very aware of uh, what is gonna hit you in these early stages. You know, it's very nice of them. It's so good. It really is. Imagine if we showed Zune the fact that other, like, instruments and sounds actually exist. Imagine the world that we would live in. Like, I'm still so pissed that in Double D Lane character, he said that he didn't want to put the drums into What's-Her-Name's song because, like, it wouldn't fit the Toast style or whatnot. Like, bro, 
put the goddamn drums in. She's a drummer. It would have been perfect. What are you talking about, you pussy? Insurgent's kind of kind of there, like a little bit. Like it is for like one of the sections. It should have been the whole thing. It's, it's a shame. It really is. So I hope that, you know, if there's one wish I have for the newer Toho games, please do. Just no tricks, no ifs, ands, or buts. If the next Toho OST is literally just death metal, uh, please. Yo, yo, sup, fellas. <coughs> yo, yo, sup, fellas, and welcome to Fantastic Don Malku Festival. Uh, today, we're gonna get piping hot in the Misty Lake, baby. Here's from the... God, I could just eat that. <laughs> Never saw that before. Okay. Now, I do also like, because uh, we're using the, you know, instruments, we can fully commit to the Chinese uh, style and themes instead of just uh, kind of alluding to them with uh, certain melodies. Good. Wow, I think I actually said a coherent music thing right there. Go me. Like, it's just solid and catchy. Good stuff. Hey there, bud. Oh. And they did a good job uh, embracing her meleeing be like more of a melee fighter too because she literally just kind of comes up to you and slaps the shit out of you. Also, that's going to be later in her other text too. Oh! 